Hello folks, welcome back to our channel. My name is Jana Adams and I am solo tonight and I am half of Happy Hour Hollers. I have a very special collab for you guys today that I'm very, very excited about and I'm very humbled and flattered that my friends would ask me to be a part of it since I haven't done a video in a hot minute. I won't get into it too much. We have had a lot going on. We'll post a video soon, hopefully, with an update where it's a face-on video where we can kind of explain everything. But in a nutshell, Frank, Bryn's dad, had open heart surgery. He had four bi quadruple um, bypass surgery, open heart surgery, back at the beginning of August, and life is just now starting to kind of calm down a little bit. So, but that's not why we're here today. We're here for some jewelry and to hang out with some of our friends. So I have a wonderful group of YouTube content creators that I am friends with that asked me to be a part of a collab they are Marilyn with Shady NY. My guess is that you've already watched her video because hers was right before mine. After me, we have Kristen D with Another Chance Resale, and then uh, French teacher in Virginia, Jennifer, and then Lindsay Clark. And that rounds out today, which is Sunday. And then on Monday, we have Stina Resales, Christina, and then Brighten Your Day, Amanda Pruitt. And Brighten Your Day, of course, is Brighton. And then Amanda Pruitt, Timeless Jewel by Deborah, and Girlio, which is Christine. And we all got jewelry, the 15-piece mixed jewelry box, right around the same time and decided to do a collab together. It's been a while since we've done a collab with you guys. And so we thought that it would be a lot of fun and uh, heck, it's been a long time since we've done a video period. So it's nice to be back in the saddle again and um, and happy Halloween. So with that, I've already opened up the box so that it wasn't crazy loud. And this is what we've got. And I have my Presidium here next to me in case I need it. And um, yeah, we'll just kind of get into it. So... The 15 piece can be a little bit of a mixed bag. I ordered this back on September the 19th and it was $54 plus tax plus shipping. I don't remember if there were any discounts at the time. I was just excited that I was invited so I didn't question too much. So the first thing that we have is this um, chunky, it's an amber colored plastic uh, with the silver tone long uh, statement necklace. And let's see, it definitely feels like just fashion. And if you see here, uh, pretty cheap fashion at that. So nothing too exciting, but maybe this is a sign that they had to put in stuff like this because of the good stuff that's coming. So I'm just gonna keep pulling out. Next up, and they are all individually bagged, so that is very nice. This one is a gold tone. It looks like a um, two-strand necklace. I am not seeing a maker on this one either. I love these paperclip chain type of necklaces. And then we have a rope style necklace that's attached and I don't see any maker on this one either or markings so we'll keep digging for the good stuff but this is piece number two all right next out of the bag we have some stretch bracelets we're not getting anywhere fast folks but that's all right that is okay I'm just excited to be hanging out with all of my friends. So we have a champagne colored with a kind of antique gold looking um, um, 
are those rondelles? I don't know, you tell me. And then on this stretch, and then we have a really light baby pink, and this one feels like glass. So that's our next piece, that's number three. Number four, we have J. Crew new on the card. And these are three pair of studs, but it looks like they messed up because uh, <laughs> I'm guessing that that one should also be that aquamarine blue. And they have a, it looks like 2850 price tag on them. So really pretty, but just kind of a mediocre piece. I'm so sorry, I'm so rusty at doing jewelry videos. It's a little bit out of my comfort zone, so I'm hoping that everything is in frame. I should have uh, planned a little better <laughs> and <laughs> drawn a map of my circumference, but yet here we are. Next up, we have a dice bracelet. This is super cute and fun, would be great for a trip to Las Vegas, but unfortunately is just a uh, fashion piece, nothing too exciting, and it's very, very tiny. All right, we're still waiting. Uh, I saw something promising there. I saw a Tory Birch bag, but it's in the dust bag, so we'll leave that one for last. Next up, we have these pretty, very feminine looking with a flower, a pearl, and that does look like no, it's a faux pearl. And then some rhinestones and some little baby blue rhinestones. And this is Grace and Glory. Never heard of it. If you guys know anything about this brand, let me know in the comments. So those are pretty. And then we have a pair of tortoiseshell earrings. Plastic cheap, nothing to them, and there is definitely quite a bit of wear to at least the earring back. It does look like something is written on it, but with the way that these feel, see how they're, I don't think that whatever it is, it's uh, probably not gonna be anything substantial. So we'll keep going and looking and seeing all right, oh, sterling silver. So we'll have to test this to confirm if it is sterling silver, it's gonna be a vermeil because it is a uh, gold tone with really pretty uh, heart with all of these rhinestones and different blue colors. And then there it is on the back, very delicate and feminine Pretty piece. Next up. I probably should have done like Deborah and pulled everything out of the bag so you're not having to wait on me. Here is another, what appears to be an unbranded, two necklaces with this one. And there is some color loss here. You see that it goes from a gold color. And then here it's more of a silver where it's worn off. So I definitely don't think that this is anything. And my gold plate does have some scratching on it. So that's kind of a bummer. This looks pretty. This to me looks a little bit like sterling. So again, I'll, uh, oh, I think that I see a 925 right there. I don't know if you can see it on there, but it's very tangled. Let me see if I can quickly get it untangled. Oh, that's really pretty. So it is a very delicate chain 
with these silver, sterling silver balls. It's definitely short. I would say that it's probably a 16 inch chain, but it's really pretty. I like that one. All right, I still have the Tory Burch stuff to the side, so we're gonna hope and pray that that's gonna be the winner in this box. We have another, what appears to be a fashion necklace. It's a long faux pearl. Let's just make sure, I'm sure it is. Yeah, faux pearl, silver tone, no marks. On the bright side, I might win for worst box, so I might be a winner regardless. But see, it's really long. And hopefully my light is okay in here. I kind of improvised a little bit so that I didn't have to pull everything out. All right, next up is... This reminds me of a Leah Sophia. It says Chico's, so it's a Chico's necklace. And it's this really pretty, I like Chico's jewelry. I think that they make really quality pieces for being costume. And this is like an abalone um, necklace. The wire kind of, um, there's a word for this. I think that it's called like, a, I can't think of it. I used to love these necklaces when I waited tables. I always thought that they were a really nice kind of statement piece and added a pop of personality and flair. And then I do have the matching earrings here. Let me see if I can do like, I cannot, I, I don't know. Can Marilyn do it with fish hooks? I'm sure she can. <laughs> ah, I cannot clearly, but they're there. They're kind of a neat, a pretty neat uh, look to them. So that's that one. We're getting down to the wire, folks. We're running out of options for really good ones. I did get a sterling piece, so that's good, I guess. All right, next up we have what looks like a double necklace, and I do see a little tag on it. That's pretty. It's like a leather-wrapped cord, black leather-wrapped, probably, I don't know, that looks like real leather to me. There's a little spot where it's kind of wearing through right there, and it kind of looks like leather. And then a silver tone. And this is uh, Coldwater Creek, another company that I think makes pretty nice jewelry, nice quality pieces. So there we go. And then last one before the Tory, I brought out the Presidium and put fresh batteries in it and everything. Oh well, I guess I jinxed myself, right? <laughs> Okay, I do see a mark on that, but I can't read it. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know if you guys will be able to read that. But let's see if they're real pearls. Ooh, this, these are pretty. I like the length of them. They are faux. So whatever this is, it's probably not very high end since they're not authentic pearls. But look at, here's doubled. And we go like this. It's probably, my guess is 22 inches doubled. So, and I love pearls, whether they're real or faux. So that would be one that I would keep for the personal collection. And our last piece, let's pray that we get a good one because this is our final chance and Tori can do well. So we have a bracelet and I am not seeing, oh, there's the Tori right there. I was gonna say, I don't see any marking of her logo, but it's right there. It's a really pretty gold tone 
and it fastens like that. Would you call that a toggle clasp? I don't know. I don't know what this type. No, I don't think so. What would you call this for my jewelry lovers and friends? So, that is our box. It was okay, not the best. I think that there was a lot of unbranded in here. I hope that my friends got better boxes than we did, but I'm just excited to be doing a video and being back on YouTube and getting to hang out with all of my friends and that's worth it to me. So we do have a few videos that we have lined up that I will be doing some more collabs with. So please check back. And um, I think that that's all that I have for you tonight. So thank you so much. We are going to head over to Kristen D who is next up and we're gonna pray that she got more beautiful and uh, precious treasures than what this had in this box. So thank you so much for watching. If you have not subscribed to our channel, please subscribe. I promise we'll do better at videos and thank you so much for coming. Like this video, leave a comment with what you think our best piece was. I'm guessing that it's gonna be between that sterling silver really delicate, beautiful necklace or this Tory Burch piece. So thank you, thank you. And again, check the description. We'll have a link to everyone's videos that's involved in the collab. Again, it's 10 YouTube content creators. We'll be doing live premieres for most of them so that we can interact with everybody because we love being able to interact with the community. And, um, and yeah, check us out. And thank you so much for coming. I hope you have a great evening. Thank you guys. Bye-bye. See you on the next one. Love, HHH. -H -H.